So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is. And that your life is to live your life inside the world and try not to get in too much trouble and maybe get an education and get a job and make some money and have a family. But life can be a lot broader than that when you realize one simple thing. And that is that everything around us that we call life was made up by people that are no smarter than you. Find out what it is you want and go after it as if your life depends on it. Why? Because it does. But what do we say? But, but there will always be tomorrow. Oh no. There's no guarantees you're going to show up tomorrow. There are a lot of people who were here yesterday that they're not here today. There are a lot of opportunities that were around yesterday. They're not here today. Right? There's no guarantees in life. But there is one guarantee. If you don't take action, there will be no outcome at all. No positive outcome. The only outcome will be that you didn't achieve anything. You didn't achieve what you wanted. See, a lot of people think that failure is a step backward. No, 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 no. Failure is a step forward. A step forward in the right direction. Every time you fail, you learn something from it. You gain something from it. You feel less anxiety when you're doing it again. You want to think that's a step backward? That's progress in every sense of the word. Right? So these dreams come to you, these ideas, these visions come to you for a reason. And you can either act them out or not. And there's a higher power at play. I want you to look at your life right now and think about something that's important to you, something that gives your life a sense of value. Think about something that you'd like to have or something you'd like to create for you or your family or for society. I want you to hold this thought in mind. Now, one of the first things I want you to do is don't worry about the inner conversation that you're going to have. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. That's going to come. You're going to develop a plan of action. You will find the way. You'll become the kind of person that can attract the people, the resources, and everything you need in order to make that become reality. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? Whatever it is, bring it back out there. How are you going to do it? That will come to you in due time. See, you don't get in life what you want, ladies and gentlemen. You get in life what you are, not what you want. See, the good news is that we can always become more by working to develop ourselves. So the first process of making this your decade, you've got to begin to take a look at your life and look at where are you right now? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What gives your life a sense of fulfillment, a sense of joy? What does a full, rich life mean to you? What is it that you can love doing seven days a week that will bring a smile to your face? I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. Find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight. See, I know something about you, even not knowing you, that you've got greatness within you. You have the ability to do things that you can't even begin to imagine. You have talents and skills in you that you haven't even begun to reach for yet. Let's keep it real. If it was easy, 
everybody would do it. When you're working at your dream, somebody said the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, it's sweet to you. It's good to you. Why? See, when you when it's hard and there's a struggle, see what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. It doesn't matter what happens to you, the only thing matters, what are you going to do about it? Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure.